CES 2022, and if you've been following along, Moen has so many new innovations in store. And today, I'll be talking with CMO and Chief Innovation Officer, Mark Hans Richer. Cannot wait to tell you everything that's going on. Let's go. Um, first thing I want to start off with, what are you most excited about this year when it comes to all the latest with Moen? There's a lot to be excited about. So we, in the last few years, we've won three uh, Innovation Awards at CES, which for uh, a company that's a legacy company, 80 years old, and in our industry is not really all that usual to happen. So we feel very good about that. But this year is really the best ever because it's the first time we've ever been able to create a, a water network that can control and conserve and personalize water throughout the entire home. It's never been able to be done before. And so it really does come back to the, uh, the acquisition now of Flow, uh, fully nested within the Moen team and uh, the ability to take that brain that the Flow uh, product enables us to have with the smart shutoff, connect it with the smart faucet to do things that have never been able to be done before. So really our product this year is really the smart water network, not any of our individual products, which are also great, but it's really how they all work together and all talk to each other to create experiences that have never been provided before by anybody. And something that we do see this year, like you said, that network, it's all being integrated from your shower to your sink right. to every really facet when it comes to the home and water space. Can you tell us more about that network and how that came about? Yeah, well, water water is a network. It, you just don't think about it in the same way. I mean, pipes are running all throughout your home and there's really great things that come from that. You know, easy access to water anywhere you want it. And there can be really bad things that come from that, like leaks and floods and other things that are really terrible for your life. We felt like the big opportunity for Moen was as the leader in our space to be able to figure out how do we actually treat water as a network where every water experience is, try to bring all those experiences together so we can control and conserve and personalize water in every way possible. Uh, even to the outdoors of the house where you might find irrigation is, is being used. So we want to know every single use of water that there is and we want to improve it. Uh, that experience for the home. Let's talk a little bit about the monitoring as well as the security products, specifically the Flow Smart Water monitor shut off yep. and turn on, and the partnership that happened with Gabe Halimi. Uh, we would love to know about that. Yeah. Well, at CES uh, several years ago, we actually met Gabe and his father Henry, and they had uh, had a startup, uh, the Flow uh, startup company. And it was a, a perfect knitting together of where we wanted to go strategically and what they were developing technologically. And so uh, we did an initial partnership, and then now it's a full-on acquisition, just recently completed. So they are now fully a part of our, our company. And, uh, and Gabe could not be here today uh, for health reasons. Um, he's fine. But, um, <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, it's great to have Gabe and, and others from the Flow Company now in our company, helping us really raise the game on taking uh, what was a single product and turning it into something that could really help us build out the smart water network in the home. Amazing. And something that people really don't think about is smart water detectors and how there are so many new innovations right here, right now, even right. in the back of you, yep. where you can avoid leaks, you can avoid yep. so many disasters from happening, and it's at base. So can we describe a little bit about the technology sure. as well? Absolutely. So a smart water shutoff uh, uses algorithms to read water signatures and, and looks for uh, anomalies that are then read as events that need to be prevented from happening. And, and a, a flow by Moen allows you to not only read those anomalies, but also to understand where water is being used across your home. So it'll tell you, you know, the faucet is using this much water, the shower is using this much water. So it gives you information, and enables you to control your water experiences much more intelligently, conserve water maybe where you don't realize how much water you're actually using, and, uh, and gets you to get more, more smart about it. It also allows you to then connect all the other smart products across the home. So the smart shutoff will talk to the smart faucet. And that creates benefits that have never been able to be done before. And I'll give you one example. Yes. So a lot of people are afraid of frozen pipes in their home. And they, what they don't know this is... It's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's hard it's, to say because I'm from Los Angeles. So I've never experienced that, but I know what happened. Well, here's the thing. Like uh, Last year at this time, Texas was going through a freeze event. Yes. And you don't think of pipes freezing in Texas no. either. But they do. But they do. something happens. And what happens is water expands in pipes, which is why the pipes burst. So if there's water, too much water remaining in the pipes and the pressure's wrong, then that it freezes and the pipe's going to burst. When it unfreezes, the water's going to be everywhere and you're going to have a terrible event. The smart shutoff talking to the smart faucet for the first time ever, 
as of like this week. They're speaking to each other. So who, what yeah. exactly is speaking to what? Let's right. explain so, that to everybody. So the flow is connected to the smart water network and the smart faucet is connected to the smart water network by mode. And the flow reads an event. There's a freeze and freezing. There's a certain temperature that it can sense. It's also reading pressure in the pipes. So if it senses that, it will automatically open up the faucet so the water will pour out and purge from the pipes so the water does not remain in the pipes and then have a risk of freezing, expanding, and bursting. Wow. So it's those two products talking to each other that enables that benefit and that security for the homeowner, which has never been able to be done before. So it, it's really a unique time in, in our industry and frankly in smart homes because water is such a big part of the home experience. Um, you know, we, we're very proud of what the team's developed. You did launch a handless faucet this handless year. Faucet. Handless yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, this is the Moen Smart Faucet with motion control. So it's a, a next iteration of our smart faucets. And what it does, it is, it's so smart that you literally can manipulate anything you want with the water just by using your hands. So you um, swipe left to make it hot, swipe right to make it cold, swipe up to, uh, to make it warm, and press to uh, shut it off. But you don't have to literally, you don't have to touch it ever. It's literally reading your hand motions and controlling temperature and on off with your, with your movements. I want to know, did this happen because of everything that's going on right now with COVID or was this something in the pipelines before, no pun intended? Um, you know what, water <laughs> yeah. metaphors, we do a lot of those and they're really painful sometimes, you know, water in the bridge, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it, it certainly got kicked into gear with COVID when we realized how touchless was really catching hold during, during the pandemic. When it comes to the network and the app syncing all together, how right. that all works and what other, you know, things you want to add into okay. there. So all of these products come together in the Moen Smart Water Network app. So of course in CDS you have to have an app, but the app is really critically important because it's the place where you control all these water experiences and where you can customize these water experiences and do pre-programmed you know, I want my kitchen faucet to give me this degree of, you know, water, this amount of water for my, my recipe or for my plants or for my whiskey or whatever I want my water for. But when you put it all together in this app, it allows those benefits like burst protect, which keeps your pipes from bursting, winterizing your pipes if you're going away from home and you want to make sure that, you know, you just want to make sure they're, they're fine and you don't have to worry about the automatic prevention. You can just set it and forget it, so to speak. Or health protect if you're walking away from your home for several months and you want to make sure that that water is not sitting still in your pipes and causing any kind of bacterial issues that you're then going to be consuming when you get back into your home space. That's health protect and will purge the pipes even if you're not there just ahead of time so the water is now fresh and moving through your pipes and it gets rid of any of that kind of risk. Here on the app we have two devices, our Moen Smart Faucet and Moen Smart Water uh, Shutoff. I'd like to demonstrate real quickly how they work together to create benefits that have never been seen before. So in this case, on the app, we have a mode called Winterize. And then it will talk through the Moen Smart Water Network to purge the lines through your smart faucet and prevent water from bursting in your home. Does this also give you any notifications if it feels too much pressure in your Absolutely, pipes? always. Uh, there's always automatic notifications if you have freeze events, uh, pressure issues that you can monitor from anywhere that you are. Let's say you wanted to turn something off, like where, where would you, where would that be? So every one of these things is individually enabled and also collectively enabled. That's why it's the network itself. So if I wanted to, you know, do something with the faucet, um, and this is giving you some information on what's going on with your kitchen, so what kind of use is going on day, week, month, year. You can do your presets. So if I want to, if I know exactly the temperature of the baby bottle that I want, the amount, obviously, if I have a cooking recipe for exactly how I, I make my favorite uh, dish and the right amount of water, the right temperature for the recipe, it's all pre-programmed here, uh, controllable through your voice or uh, simply through the app. I have the faucet at home. Oh, good. <laughs> it, it is a game changer. I remember when I used to bottle feed my son, right. I would say, hey, Alexa, make sure that my water temperature is right. X, Y, Z and right. fill it up for eight ounces. Well, baby bottle is a great example because, you know, people don't want to overheat their water. They put the bottle in the microwave and then, and then you got to see, oh, it's too hot. Oh, that's too cold. And, you know, so if you know exactly what that water is that your baby really prefers and you set that exact temperature, of course, it's also the right amount exactly and, and you're done. So that's a really nice nice convenience and a uh, peace of mind for, for people. It's a good, it's a good use occasion of, of what, how the technology brings people into a, a better experience. Well, this has been really interesting information. I'm so Thank excited you. to see what comes out next year. Every year seems like you're making our lives easier and automated. So thank you so much for Thank your time. Thank you, Jessica. It was really nice to talk with you.
Thank you.